Hello there, first time home buyers. It is Katie Kerr with Friday Mortgage. I'm here to give you an update on the Cal Hafa Dream for All program. So the Dream for All program was launched earlier this year in the spring. There was $300 million to help with down payment assistance. That money went away in less than two weeks. And so now it is going to come back in the fall. We don't know exactly when. We don't know all the guidelines yet. But we know that $200 million is going to be allocated for down payment assistance again for first time home buyers. We learned a lot last time. And so I, I'm here to share the update, but also the three biggest mistakes that I see that I saw people do at that time and how you can prevent them and be better prepared this time around. So number one is not acting quick enough. So again, I don't think anybody knew how fast the funds were gonna go, but they went really fast. So if 300 million was gone in less than two weeks, I'm not really sure what 200 million is going to be, but I'm sure it's going to go quickly again. So that is number one is do not snooze on this. Number two is not getting all the prerequisites, whatever you can control up front and done. So there are three parts. There are two classes that you need to take. One is a first time home buyer counseling course. That's eight hours. It's $99. There's another one that's an online class specifically for the dream for all that one is free. And it's very quick and easy. The third one is actually a counselor call. Last time the counseling of uh, the counselors were actually backed up for weeks. And so that is really what prevented a lot of people to close on time because there was such a long delay. So you can actually do this before you get into contract. And it's best that you get it done before you get in contract, because this will help ensure a smoother closing. So number three um, is not understanding the process to reserve the funds. So a lot of buyers were getting pre-approved with me and then thinking that they can reserve the funds right away. So that is that is not the case. You have to get pre-approved first to know that if you would be eligible for um, this program. And then, then you have to get into contract. And after you have a ratified contract, then you are able to reserve funds. So you could request to reserve funds actually. So understanding this will help you get better prepared next time because you have to, like number one is really not snoozing on um, going out there and making offers and getting to contract, but also be in the right mindset, really have to be in it to win it. You really want to um, be ready to go when you're, when we know when this program is going to be really launched again. So if you're interested to learn more, if you have any questions, if you want to revisit your pre-approval or just make sure to you, that you stay up to date, please do let me know and I'll make sure to help you out. All right, until next time, have a great day and let me know if there's anything I can do to help.